I picked some sweet blackberries that were growing in the tangled growth between the gravel parking lot and Route 52, although most were not yet ripe. A colorful profusion of wildflowers stretched halfway around the parking lot, and lush poison ivy circled the other half. Sandy prepared a lunch for the both of us, using the open trunk as a kitchen. As I ate, Sandy took a bunch of pictures. Several through hikers passed by. The air was hot with humidity, suggesting a rainforest or a jungle. The suspension bridge and river looked exactly as it appears in the pictures that I downloaded from the web. A pair of heavy, one-inch diameter steel cables support this narrow structure. I could feel it swing from side to side. A recently used fire ring marks a boot-like campsite. A large, flat-top rock on the far side looked inviting. Small fish dot around in the clear water. It was quiet except for the sound of a dog barking sporadically from a nearby farmhouse. Few cars passed. It was 1.10 p.m., unusual late to start a day hike. Have a good trip and don't rush. I'll be there, Stanley announced encouragingly. 